Tonight, Mad Man Mind Dog coming at you live once again from the Garden Dog right here in beautiful Alabama. Yes. Well, all the nuts are down on the ground, up in the trees. Anyways, Mr. Isaac Smithies. John, what's happening, man? Man, you always pop it up on my stream like like, like, like a bad erection at the wrong time. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. I'm kidding, all right? Don't worry. We're getting to yours. Just, just don't worry. Uh, anyway, good old Isaac Smithy. Okay? Scott Walk, what's happening? J. Paul Gates, good to see you. All right. Isaac Smithy purchased this console off the website for me. And uh, here she sits. Trinity, AZV3, 320 gig drive. Up on line servers, along with the 10-day drive of the purge for GTA 5. Now, we're going to boot this little puppy up. Yes. I have been working. <laughs> I mean, this shit's been rolling out of here. <laughs> Lorraine wants to strangle me. <laughs> she walked in her office and saw all the, all the Xboxes stacked up there, and she's like, oh, God. <laughs> I was like, yeah, the post office closed at 11, so you better get a move on it. With that, she pulled out her gun. Just like that and cocked it. Okay? <laughs> Not cool. Alright, anyway, we're booting up in the FZ, guys. We're going to get some notifications from the server, as you can see. And we're going to get one more from the purge. There you are. Alright, now. Here's what we're going to do. Okay? We're going to roll through this thing. Because Isaac, ah, I do believe, is a new model. And, um... I don't think he knows all the ins and outs, so we're going to give him a little bit of information, so that way then he can scare himself real good, and this thing will drive him crazy. So, all right, under emulators. Okay, as you can see, Genesis Plus 360, Snes 360, man. Xbox Classic Games. They probably man Classic Games. Yeah, it's a whole bunch. And then, of course, we have our homebrew section. We have Dash, Launch X, M360, XCX, Menu, Xbox 360, Dash, Board, Bush Changer 360, Simple Land, Flash, Reflex, Menu, Flash 360, Back to Dash Launch. Got that? Good. Xbox Live Arcade, maybe a mind-boggling amount of arcade games, including our favorite. And then we got Toy Soldiers. Toy Soldiers meets Trailer Park King. Mmm, that would be interesting. Xbox 360 games, okay? A load amount of Xbox 360 games. All your famous titles that you all love to play, all right there, okay? One fell swoop. Now, to get to the original dashboard, go to your homebrew section. On your homebrew section, hit Xbox 360 dashboard, hit it again. That will take you to the original dash. There you are. Hello again, Isaac Smithies. You're on Alliance Live. Welcome to Alliance Live. You're on Dashboard 17559. Really? You only have 30 reserve days left. God, good. Alright. Now, bypass the sign you will see that you're up here online. You're alive. There you are. A beautiful eyeball, pleasing HUD. Our fifth tab, our, you know, fifth tab, we have our off posts. You sure? Those cheats are more than three cheats. To get back to Embassy Dash, just smash the A button at Xbox. Two. That will take you back. Now, before I get into the crazy stuff on this thing, I'm going to show you how to set this up on your network for the first time. So, Isaac, I need you to pay attention to this. Because this, if you don't do it this way, you will be driven nuts. You will be messaging me calling you all kinds of names, and I'm going to say, did you watch the video? You're going to say no. And then, after I tell you how to do it, you're going to sit there and go, dude, I'm sorry. I don't want a character reference, okay? <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, look. It's real easy, okay? This is not rocket science. This is very easy. When you first get the console, you're not powered on. What I want you to do is I want you to pull the drive door. Then I want you to grab hold of this little tampon string here. It says hard drive. And it says 250, it's a 320, okay? It's been slightly modified. We'll leave that there. Now, power the console on. And with an exorbitant amount of luck, like bounty, this thing should boot, all right? And when it does, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the blackboard screen, the original Xbox screen, okay? Now, once you get to that screen, this is what you're going to do. Okay? You're going to come up here. You're going to go all the way over here. You're going to go to settings. You're going to go to system. Then you're going to network settings. Okay? Your Wi-Fi will pop up. As you can see, mine is already there. So I don't need to find it because it's already there. You get me? But yours is going to be over here. So you click on it. Put your password in. Okay? Now when you do that, it's going to automatically test your network connection. Me, I have to do it manually. Okay? Because it's on my network. 
you're going to get a check mark with two red X's. Okay? Just like that. All right, now, don't care about these. That's the only one you worry about. Make sure that one's check marked off. That's it. Don't worry about anything else. Okay? Now, once this happens, I want you to power down the system. Okay? And then you know what I want you to do? This is what I want you to do. I want you to take LSED hard drive right here. Make sure the system's off. It has background downloads on. Okay? Slip it in. Take your drive door. Put it on there. Pull your power supply and leave that sit for five minutes. Because if you do not let it sit for five minutes, you will not get on the network. Why? Because, you see, my DNS is in there. And if you try to put your DNS with my DNS, we have bad DNA. Then we get that SEPA EPA EDA HORLITIS, okay? You don't want that, alright? So in plain English, what I'm doing is I'm draining the capacitors, which will kill the south bridge, which will clear it. So we have a nice, fresh, clean slate. Minky fresh, like, like certs, okay? Now, once that's done, you can plug it back in after five minutes. Now, I can plug it in right now because it's on my network, so my DNS is good. But you have to wait five minutes. After that five minutes is up, I want you to go ahead, I want you to boot the console. Okay? Now the system will boot, and then you will get some notifications. Okay? System's booted. Okay, we're good. This is quite... I know you're studying. That's a good thing, man. Seth, what's happening, man? Good to see you. Matt Robinson. Hey, man, how you doing? Matthew Jennifer. There you are. How you doing, brother? Victor Montoya! Urgh, Mr. Montoya! What's happening? Alright. Now, 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 Isaac, I know that you're not seeing this on Facebook, but this will be posted to, you know, YouTube. So I'm not talking to myself and answering myself, okay? I only do that in private, alright? Okay? Uh, I'm actually talking to people on this stream, okay, that are good friends of mine that they, they seem to want to tune in all the time, which is good. I'm not complaining, okay? They just like to see. Because sometimes I like to do, like, crazy stuff, like... Okay? See, I like to do stuff like that. Stress reliever. Pardon me. Sorry. Okay? Now. Anyway. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Now, boot it up. You got your plugins, okay? What I want you to do. Take your control. Go on over to Homebrew. Okay? Go over to Xbox 360 dashboard. Alright? Hit it. You'll see a square pop up with your name on it, which is good. If it has a different name on it, you better start getting worried. Okay? Now, bypass that. What I want you to do is then download your profile. Now, if you have an Xbox Live profile, download it. If you don't, go to xboxlive.com, use Outlook Express to make the, make the email account and all that crap, and then download it to the console, put your credentials in, and when you do, what's going to happen is, is this thing's going to sign you in, and then you're going to wind up coming to a screen that looks like that, which is the holy grail, which means that you're good. Okay? We're not done yet. All right, now, once you sign in and everything, press the guide button, press A, and now there's a certain thing that I want you to do. Okay? And you have to do this, because if you do not do this, you will be driven crazy later, in many ways, and I promise you, you don't want to go there. Okay? What you want to do is you want to go over to the homebrew section. Then you want to go over to XM360. XM360 is a title unlocker. DLC unlocker, XBLA unlocker. It unlocks everything, including chastity belts. So if you have women that have chastity belts, you can use XM360 on them. Okay? You know where I'm going with that, right? All right. Anyway, you click on this, and then what's going to happen is it's going to black screen for about a minute. Because right, it's searching all of the hard drive. It's going to find the XBLA. It's going to, going to find the downloadable content. All right, what it does, I want you to click on DLC, and then I want you to go to Unlock All, and it will unlock it. Then I want you to go to um, DLC, and um, go to uh, Unlock It, and unlock it all. Okay? Unlock everything. Un unlock XBLA, unlock... Downloadable content, DLC, all that crap. That way then, once it's unlocked to your profile, remember, do this with your profile signed in. That way then, when you go to update, you know, programs or whatever, if you have to do any title updates or anything, you're not sucked into that vortex known as the update loop, which keeps looping. 
around and around and around. Where she goes, I don't know. But definitely will make you tear your hair out, okay? So make sure to unlock the titles, okay? Pretty simple. Then you can play to your heart's content. Now, we have another little ditty on this thing. Because I like to confuse the hell out of new people, all right? This has multiple dashboards on it, okay? So, we'll go to multiple dashboard. We got, no, that's games. I don't want that. Yeah, we'll go to file manager. Then what we'll do, we'll go to H81. We'll go to Aurora. I'm going to start it up this way this time. Okay, we'll hit the Aurora, and now Aurora dashboard will come up. This is a newer style dashboard made by the same people that made FSD. Okay, now with this dashboard, as you can see, a little flashier. You know, it's updated, all that kind of good stuff, all right? RB and LB. Okay, hit RB. Subcontext menu comes up. All right, that's all your Xbox 360 games. D-pad over. Xbox Live, D-pad over. Whoop. Sorry about that. Whoa, don't want to do that. Okay. RB, D-pad over. Emulators. RB, D-pad over. Classic games. RB, D-pad over. Homebrew section. RB, D-pad over. Boogies! Yes! Show up, Ah! And remember, you use voice changes, so that way they can't catch it. Now, show all. Okay? Very simple. Now, if you like this, it's very easy to change it. Alright? You just go to your homebrew section right here. Then what you will do is you will click on Dash Launch. Now, quick little lesson in Dash Launch. Alright? You're going to go to Pass. Okay? As you can see, you have a default, which is Freestyle Dash. You have B, which is FX main. You have X, which is XCX main. You have Y, which is SFC dash. And you have L bump, which is Aurora. Okay? Now, if you want to change the default, it's real easy. Select it, hit A. Hit A again at the double dot folder. Go to Aurora. Click on Aurora. And there. So you change it. Now, to save it, as to save everything in Dash Launch, you hit RB. You highlight HDD. Because that's where it is. See the little green check mark? That means that's where the launch end is. You hit X. Settings saved. We're good. Hit B to back out. Magically, you will be booted up into Aurora now. There you go. Okay. Pretty simple. Now, we're going to change it back. So we'll go to Homebrew. We'll go to Dash Launch. Okay. Now, also with these right here, these buttons that's on the, that's on the controller. While the system is booting, when you get to the logo, you can press any one of those buttons and it will bring up the corresponding dashboard. Okay? Now, default. We're going to change it. We will change it back. We will go to the double dot folder. We will go to freestyle dash. We will then go to default XCX. Hit that, which is the executable. Hit RB. Highlight as GD. Hit X. Setting safe. Hit B. Back out. Guess what? Now we're going to be running FSD. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Now, one other thing. Here we go, guys. Okay. This is going to confuse the hell out of them. I know it will. <laughs> yeah, I, busy is not the word for it, man. B busy is not the word. No, you know, uh, Vicky, you only have to do that one time, man. That's it. Once you get it on your network, you're good, man. You ain't got to go through all that crap, man. No. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. Hey, Jose, how are you? Rico Fo, what's happening, man? man? No, you're not having pizza, okay? We're having lasagna. Sean Fox, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. it's a salami and a pizza. Yeah. I like the salami, eh? Yeah. Bologna? Okay, anyway. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me how old I am. All right, greatly appreciate that, Sean. <laughs> okay, now. In order to run original Xbox games, you've got to put it in bypass mode, okay? Bypass mode is simply this. What you're going to do is you power it off, okay? Then, power it on, okay? Let the tray come out, okay? Leave the tray out until you reach the dashboard. Now, the system gets booted. Damn, this thing boots like a beast. I love this damn thing. All right. It's so nice that they, that they boot like that. I can't stand waiting around. It makes me freaking nutty. All right. Now, we're booting up the FSD dash, okay? Now, once you hit the dashboard, 
Now you push the tray back in. See? Okay? Then you take out controller, and then you go over to the original games right here. Okay? Once it sinks. There we go. Xbox Classic Games. Okay? Let's do Halo 2 for the hell of it. Okay? See? And you'll get the, you'll get the, double, uh, the double logo come up. And then all of a sudden, and there you are. There's your original Halo 2. Okay? And there is Sperm! Okay, laughing it. Yes! And there it goes. COVID-19! Wall infected. Hooray! Okay? Now. <laughs> yeah, and there's a the freaking guy singing. They get their nuts caught in a vice or a car door or whatever it is, okay? Anyway, once you're done with the original game, you want to play a different one, hit the guide button, go to Xbox Home, hit yes, and guess what? You're back in FSC Dash. So there you go. Now, take the can and take the cannolis. <laughs> I love it. Man, I haven't had a cannoli in God knows how long. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Man. Cannoli, oh, oh yes, Mrs. Gambatis' bakery, okay, down in Patterson, New Jersey, oh, man, when you'd roll past that bakery, boy, man, and you smelt that fresh bread cooking and all that, oh, to die for, man, I just want to drive my car right through the front window and, and, and make a drive through okay, back in the year, back in the early 80s, you know, <laughs> yo, bitch, pass me some of that Italian bread, yeah, there you go, all right, now, Reminds me of the old neighborhood, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, reminds me of the old neighborhood, yep. Good bread, lots of gunfire, people dying, drive bys, yeah. Rape. Yeah. Good neighborhood right there. Yes, sir, what an education I got. <laughs> Does anybody remember the movie Stand By Me? Okay. Stand by Me was a movie about the uh, about principal. Trying to straighten out of school down in Patterson, New Jersey. Yeah, I went to that high school. Let me tell you what. By the time the teacher finished collecting the knives and guns, class was over. You learned how to field strip a 9mm and give somebody a Colombian neck tie. Alright? <laughs> you should watch that movie sometime. You'll see what I went through. <laughs> You'd be like, this guy's still alive? <laughs> anyway. Fun times. Yes. Anyway. Mr. Isaac Smithy. Thank you so much for your business. I greatly appreciate it, brother. We're shipping it off tomorrow. Yes, Lorraine is going to kill me. Because now I'm going to bring another one into her. And I'm quite sure she's sitting there with her 40 on the desk. I know what's going to happen to me. You might not hear from me again. But anyway, guys, thanks so much. Thanks so much, bro. Crazy Joe. Yep, you're dang right, man. Baseball is the baseball bat, yo. <laughs> Those were the days, man. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, guys... Listen, listen, listen. Thank you so much for watching and hanging with me. I greatly appreciate it, okay? Um, Mr. Smithies, yeah, welcome to my world. All right? <laughs> and welcome to the wonderful world of mine, where you two can rip your hair out, okay? And wind up as crazy as I am. <laughs> they don't call me the madman for nothing. <laughs> anyway, you all have a good one, guys. Have a great night. I'll see you all tomorrow. i got a lot of our games to do. i got a, got quite a few more. Okay, <laughs> quite a few more. Oh my god. But, um, we're gonna tackle them. Like I said, I do about five, about five a day or whatever. If everything goes smooth, I, I can do, I can do five a day. So, you know, I don't know, I have pushed the boundaries to six and seven and whatnot, but we'll see. But anyway, listen guys, thanks so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it, okay? You all have a good one to be there. You can call me Batman. No, 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 no. I'm the fat Batman. You're the skinny Robin. Okay? <laughs> You all have a good one, guys. Have a great night. You all crazy like me. Talk to you all later, guys.